I like going out shopping and I like watching telly and I just like um, going out with my friends. That was Sarah and like most teenagers she goes out and enjoys herself. However, unlike most teenagers she has a potentially life-limiting illness. For the next few minutes, we'd like to share with you the crucial work of Martin House. Martin House is the region's first children and young people's hospice. But to the children, their families and the carers, it's much more than that. That is brilliant. These children need 24-hour care. It's not a day off ever. Martin House has changed our life so much. We get time together when Amy's been in and out of hospital and knowing she can come and she just loves it. Since 1987, Martin House has offered respite care, symptom control, terminal care, and bereavement support to families at home or within Martin House. We try very hard to give the families what they're asking for and what's not provided elsewhere. It's a costly service. We're totally reliant on charity to fund the work that we do. We have a little money from the government, but it, it's not a lot. Without your help, Martin House Hospice would simply cease to exist. Running a hospice like this does cost a great deal of money and this year we're going to need over three and a half million pounds of which just seven percent will come from statutory sources so we really do rely heavily year on year uh, on the goodwill of the public to raise the money that we need. Even though your child's poorly you don't have to be sad all the time. Everyone gets looked after this feels like a family home. Martin House provide love and specialist care for parents and children facing terminal illness. Without you, they can't help them.